Ever wondered what an invisible universe might look like? Welcome to the world of microbiology, the study of life that's too small to see with the naked eye. This is a realm where organisms thrive and interact in ways that have profound effects on our world, yet they are so tiny, they evade our direct gaze. Microbiology is a fascinating field that explores the smallest forms of life, including bacteria, viruses, and fungi, among others. These tiny organisms, or microbes, are so minute that millions can fit into the eye of a needle. But don't let their size fool you. They are mighty in their impact, influencing everything from the air we breathe to the food we eat, and even our own health. In fact, our lives are so entwined with these microscopic organisms that we ourselves are teeming with them. Our bodies are a bustling metropolis for bacteria, a thriving environment for viruses, and a fertile ground for fungi. This is our human microbiome, a complex community of microbes that live in and on us, contributing to our health and well-being in ways we are only beginning to understand. In this video, we'll journey together into this unseen world. We'll start by taking a closer look at bacteria, those single-celled organisms that are among the earliest forms of life on Earth. Then we'll move on to viruses, the invisible invaders that can cause disease but also play critical roles in our ecosystem. And let's not forget fungi, those fascinating organisms that are neither plant nor animal and can be both friend and foe. As we delve into these topics, we'll uncover the beauty, complexity, and significance of the microbial world. We'll explore how these tiny organisms shape our world and our lives, often in surprising and unexpected ways. So buckle up and prepare to dive into this microscopic world that holds the secrets to life as we know it. Ever stop to think about the tiny creatures living on your skin, in your gut, and just about everywhere else? Welcome to the world of bacteria. In the simplest terms, bacteria are single-celled organisms that can be found in every imaginable environment on Earth. They're in the soil, in the air, in the water, and yes, even in and on our bodies. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, from spheres and rods to spirals, and they have a simple structure. A bacterial cell is like a tiny factory with a protective outer wall, a cell membrane that controls what goes in and out, and a central region called the cytoplasm, where all the action happens. But what's really fascinating about bacteria is their sheer diversity and the roles they play in different environments. Some bacteria are autotrophs, which means they make their own food, usually through photosynthesis. Others are heterotrophs, which means they feed on organic material in their environment, some bacteria are even chemolithotrophs, which means they get their energy from inorganic compounds. On our bodies, bacteria live in harmony with us. They're part of what we call the human microbiome, a complex ecosystem of microorganisms. Some of these bacteria help us digest food, produce vitamins, and even protect us from harmful pathogens. For example, the bacteria in our gut, like the lactobacillus and bifidobacterium species, are famous for their probiotic properties helping us to maintain a healthy digestive system. But not all bacteria are beneficial. Some can cause diseases from minor infections like acne to life-threatening conditions like pneumonia or meningitis. These harmful bacteria or pathogens have various ways of causing disease. Some produce toxins that damage our cells, while others invade and disrupt the normal functions of our tissues. However, it's important not to paint all bacteria with the same brush. For every harmful bacterium, there are countless others that are harmless or beneficial. And even the harmful ones play a role in nature, breaking down dead organic material and recycling nutrients in the environment. In fact, without bacteria, life as we know it would be impossible. They're the unsung heroes of our planet, working behind the scenes to keep ecosystems functioning. They play a crucial role in the nitrogen cycle, converting nitrogen gas in the atmosphere into a form that plants can use. They're also involved in the carbon cycle, helping to regulate the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So bacteria aren't just pesky pathogens, they're vital to our existence, playing a role in everything from digestion to immunity. They're a testament to the power of life in its smallest form, proof that even the tiniest of creatures can have a big impact on our world. It's a perspective that can change the way we look at the world around us and within us. Moving from bacteria, let's talk about viruses, the invisible invaders that can cause everything from the common cold to global pandemics. So, what exactly are viruses? Well, here's the thing. Viruses are not exactly alive, and they're not exactly non-living either. They exist in a strange twilight zone in between. They're tiny particles, much smaller than bacteria, and they can't do much of anything on their own. They're like pirates of the microscopic world, 
hijacking the cells of other organisms to reproduce. Now let's talk about a virus's structure. A virus is composed of a core of genetic material, either DNA or RNA, surrounded by a protective coat called a capsid. Some viruses have an additional layer, an envelope of lipids that surrounds the capsid. The capsid and envelope are often studded with protein spikes, which help the virus to attach to host cells. The life cycle of a virus begins when it invades a host cell. The virus attaches to the host cell, injects its genetic material, and then uses the host cell's machinery to make copies of itself. This process can cause the host cell to burst, releasing the new viruses to infect other cells. Now you might be wondering, how do viruses impact human health? Well, when a virus invades a cell in your body, it sets off a chain reaction. Your immune system springs into action, causing inflammation and other symptoms as it tries to fight off the invaders. Viruses are responsible for a wide range of diseases, from the common cold and flu to more serious conditions like HIV and Ebola. And let's not forget the global pandemics caused by viruses, like the Spanish flu in the early 20th century, and more recently, the COVID-19 pandemic. But it's not all doom and gloom. While viruses can cause disease, they can also be used in medicine. For instance, scientists are developing viral vectors, which are viruses engineered to carry therapeutic genes into human cells. These vectors can be used to treat genetic disorders, certain types of cancer, and even to deliver vaccines. In fact, the COVID-19 vaccines developed by Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna use a viral vector based on a harmless piece of the SARS-CoV-2 virus to stimulate an immune response. So, while viruses can be dangerous, they can also be harnessed for the benefit of humanity. Viruses may be tiny, but they've shaped human history in big ways, reminding us of the powerful impact of the microscopic world. With their ability to cause global pandemics, influence the course of evolution, and serve as tools in medicine, viruses illustrate the profound ways that the invisible world can impact our visible one. Now, let's turn our attention to fungi, organisms that are more closely related to animals than plants. Fungi, in essence, are a group of living organisms which, incredibly, are more akin to us humans and our animal kin than they are to plants. They are an intriguing mix of unicellular and multicellular organisms, encompassing the likes of yeasts, molds, and mushrooms. A unique characteristic of fungi is their cell structure, which like ours contains chitin, a component also found in the exoskeletons of insects and crustaceans. A key role of fungi in the environment is their function as decomposers. They break down organic matter, decomposing dead plants and animals, and recycling nutrients back into the soil. This crucial process makes them vital for nutrient cycling and maintaining soil health. But fungi aren't just about decomposition. They also form symbiotic relationships with plants through a process called mycorrhizal association, where they help plants absorb nutrients and water from the soil. So, when you admire a lush green forest, remember to give thanks to the unseen fungi. Yet not all fungi are beneficial. Some can cause diseases like athlete's foot and ringworm in humans, or blights and rusts in plants. Certain types of molds produce harmful toxins, such as the infamous aflatoxin, a potent carcinogen. And let's not forget the destructive power of fungi like the Batrachochytrium dendrobatidis, responsible for decimating frog populations worldwide. However, even in their destructiveness, fungi offer silver linings. Many life-saving medicines, including penicillin and other antibiotics, are derived from fungi. They're also the secret behind the delicious flavors of bread, cheese, and beer. So the line between the good and the bad can be quite blurred when it comes to fungi. As we've seen, fungi can be friends or foes playing crucial roles in our ecosystems and our health. They are an intriguing paradox, equally capable of destruction and creation, making the world of fungi a fascinating study in contrasts. Now imagine billions of microscopic organisms living on and in your body. Welcome to your microbiome. In this remarkable world within our own bodies, trillions of bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other microbes coexist peacefully. This is the human microbiome, an intricate ecosystem that plays an essential role in our well-being. From aiding digestion to strengthening our immune system, these tiny organisms do more than just reside in our bodies. They work tirelessly, ensuring our health and survival. However, when this delicate balance is disrupted, it can lead to diseases, from skin conditions to mental health disorders. Our microbiomes start to form the moment we are born, influenced by our environment, the food we eat, and our lifestyle choices. The diversity of our microbiome is as unique as our fingerprints, with no two individuals having exactly the same composition. 
Let's consider our diet for example. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and fiber supports a diverse microbiome. On the other hand, a diet high in processed foods can lead to a less diverse, potentially harmful microbiome. Similarly, a sedentary lifestyle can negatively influence our microbiome, while regular exercise seems to promote a healthier, more diverse microbial community. Even our stress levels can impact our microbiome. Chronic stress can alter the balance, paving the way for health issues. Therefore, mindfulness practices like meditation and yoga can be beneficial for our microbiome, and consequently, our overall health. It's fascinating to realize that every choice we make, from the food we consume to the lifestyle we lead, can influence this invisible world within us. And by making conscious choices, we can nurture our microbiome, promoting a harmonious relationship with these microscopic allies. So, the next time you reach for that apple instead of a candy bar, remember, you're not just feeding yourself, but also your billions of tiny tenants. Our microbiomes are like fingerprints, unique to each of us, and they play a vital role in our health. As we've seen, microbiology offers a fascinating glimpse into a world unseen by the naked eye. But what does the future hold for this field? Just as the explorers of old charted new territories, microbiologists are poised to continue their journey into this unseen universe. The future is brimming with potential and the field of microbiology holds the key to unlocking answers to some of our most pressing questions. In the realm of medicine, we've already seen the power of microbiology through the development of antibiotics, vaccines, and advanced diagnostic tools, but we're on the cusp of even greater breakthroughs. Imagine a world where we can manipulate microbial communities to treat diseases, or where we can harness the power of microbes to create personalized treatments. It's not science fiction, it's the future of microbiology. In agriculture, microbiologists are also making waves. By understanding the complex relationships between soil, plants, and microbes, we can develop more sustainable farming practices. Imagine crops that require less water or fertilizer, or that are naturally resistant to pests. The possibilities are as vast as the microbial world itself, but the potential of microbiology isn't confined to the realms of medicine and agriculture. It extends into environmental science as well. Microbes play a crucial role in maintaining our planet's health. They recycle nutrients, break down pollutants, and even help to regulate our climate. By harnessing these microbial powers, we could make significant strides in solving some of our most pressing environmental challenges. And these are just a few examples. The future of microbiology is a realm of infinite possibilities, as vast and varied as the microbes themselves. It is a journey of discovery, fueled by our curiosity and our desire to understand the world around us. As we continue to explore this invisible universe, who knows what other secrets we'll uncover. The journey is just beginning, and the future of microbiology is a frontier waiting to be explored. The invisible universe is teeming with life, and its secrets are ours to discover. As we continue to explore this invisible universe, who knows what other secrets we'll uncover. So, there you have it. A whirlwind tour of the microscopic world of microbiology. We've dived into the fascinating world of bacteria, those tiny organisms that can be both our best friends and worst enemies. We've delved into the realm of viruses, the invisible invaders that can cause havoc but also hold the key to understanding many of our biological processes. We've explored fungi, a group of organisms that are as diverse as they are intriguing and can be both beneficial and harmful. We've also discovered the human microbiome, a complex ecosystem living within us that plays a vital role in our health. And finally, we've looked ahead to the future of microbiology, a field that is rapidly advancing and promises to bring about revolutionary changes in medicine, agriculture, and environmental science. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the microscopic world. Remember, there's a whole universe of life too small to see, but it's making a big impact on our lives every day.